Hello everyone, welcome back. So the Division 2 is live. It's been live for about 8, 10 hours, something like that now, but um, I've not long been home. And what I thought I'd do is, I did first off, before we get into the season uh, pass here, I, I did complete uh, the Manhunt target, rescue uh, John Yazzie, and of course um, help rebuild the castle settlement, which I thought was actually pretty cool. Um, and I like the change um, of direction here. I know it's not a huge change, but it is something is better than what we have been doing, uh, which I think we've all got very used to. And I did like the flow of this as well. Uh, and like previous seasons where uh, the manhunt would show you everything that you needed to do in, and you could just do it in whatever order you wanted um, with this particular manhunt, um, spoilers, <laughs> with this particular manhunt, you had to follow a certain uh, you had to do one thing, then go and do another, and it had to be in a certain order, which I actually quite liked. It also felt like, because it was in a very concentrated area, um, I had to then run across the map to that area rather than um, kind of fast travel, and that actually felt good as well. So I think the overall flow uh, felt better. But let's just get into the uh, the rewards track here. This is the thing I really want to touch on. Um, I have bought the uh, Season Pass, as I always do. Um, and, yeah, let's see what we get here. So currently I'm at uh, 7, I think it is. So... As you can see here, we got um, you get the electric gloves or electric gloves um, all the way across the top. And if you've got the season pass, then at level five you get the cavalier outfit, which is some of that I've got at the moment. Um, I've not yet put it on. It, it, I had a quick look at the pieces; wasn't my favourite, but then I've not put it all on together, so that might change. So just moving on here, as we can see, let's have a look to see what we've got. Uh, the first time we get the Cavalier Mask, which is the um, a new gear set, um, is uh, level 11. We've got the Frozen Circuit Gear Die, which is the one they uh, showed on the live stream. Again, that's part of the Season uh, Pass, um, as in the, yeah, the Season Pass. Um, we then got the Cavalier Gloves and Holster, followed by the um, MG5 Light Machine, and that's going to be the new named one, I believe. I can't remember. We then got Cavalier Knee Pads. we got the Gilded Cage Custom M4 uh, skin that looks awesome from here but it's always very small images so you can't really tell for sure but it looks really nice and then you pretty much complete the cavalier gear set here uh, level 19 on the pass um or on the uh yeah on the the rewards track uh spicy gear die for season pass owners and we've also got the frozen circuit but this time on the uh custom ksg shotgun um moving on we got the electric um brand chest piece uh, blueprint and that is level 27 we then got the cabaret named mp5 st weapon which comes th with the new talent and i can't remember the name of the talent off the top of my head uh but i think it does extra damage to enemies that are shocked so works well with the saint elmo's engine exotic which i'm not sure about that is on this pass we then got the spicy custom mp5 submachine gun gun skin again looks pretty cool that one um, so we've got some more blueprints here some more you know standard caches and whatnot and our first emo. This is the first time I've had an emo in a very long time. We have got Shake Fist, and again, this is on um, the season pass, not on uh, if you've purchased that, not the rewards track. We got the Moose Head again. They showed that on the, the live stream. Uh, the Cavalier Mask Blueprint starts at level forty-two. We got the Paisley Gear Die. I've got to admit that uh, Paisley looks really cool on a weapon. I don't know what it's going to be like as a gear die. And our first exotic cash level forty-five. Um, we then got the Coney Island Stovepipe Manhunt. That's available level forty-eight. Uh, we've also got the um, Season 10 Prime Target, which is level 49. And then we've got the Iced Out Emote, followed by level 50, Broken Wings Elite. Um, it looks like an arm patch. And we've got the Paisley uh, Sig 556 Weapon Skin, which, yeah, looks awesome. I can't actually wait to get that. Uh, moving on, we've just got some more blueprints. We've got the uh, Season 9 Target, level 53. Uh, season 4 Target, level 55, along with the side-by-side -side uh, shotgun skin, which, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. It's a shame that shotguns, at least for me personally, are not, especially shotguns like that, are just not really that viable in the, in, in the game in its current state. Um, we then got the air guitar emote, level 59. And again, guys, these emotes, everything at the bottom of here is if you purchase this season pass. Um, so if you, you're not purchasing it, that won't be available uh, for you guys. We then got the uh, named backpack, um, the Lavosia. I'm not sure I said that right. We then got the gold standard gear die. Whenever I see gold, as long as you know that to me excites me, so I hope that's actually gold. That'll be cool. Uh, season two prime target level sixty three. Uh, we then got the oh that looks very strange. A gold standard custom M two thousand AR skin that looks pretty cool actually. 
Let's see what that looks like um, when we actually get it. We've got the third echelon shoes, um, which is part of the Splinter Cell set. The first part starts at level 69. We've got the Light Winter, uh, Light Winter Custom Carbon 7 skin. And then we've got the Season 1 Prime Target. And just your standard stuff here until we get to level 79, where we get the um, pants in the US. In the UK, I would call those trousers um, for... Uh, Splinter Cell outfit when they get the big show named LMG and the uh, um, executive custom card skin. And we've got the executive gear die here as well. First exotic, level 85, the Shocker Punch exotic holster. Um, and then we get the blueprint for it at level 86, followed by the third ech ech echelon shirt, um, which um, I'd probably call that a t-shirt in the UK, although it's probably a shirt actually, it's long sleeve maybe, I don't know. Um, and then followed that St. Elmo's engine, which is what I'm really after, level 90 and we get the blueprint for it at level 91 followed by the cavalier gear die level 92 two exotic caches level 95 only two if you've got the season pass of course and then we get the third echelon hat to complete the splinter cell outfit level 99 followed by the broken wings hero patch and the take the l uh, level 100 reward which looks like a helmet uh, i'm not sure exactly how it's going to look on but yeah we'll have to wait and see and yeah, I mean, that is the season pass. I don't know if there's anything else in the store um, that maybe is new. I've not I've not looked to see if there's anything new in here. I don't think there is. Um, but obviously, if there is, then you guys can let me know. Uh, yeah, that's the season pass. Um, I, I'm going to check out the next thing on the agenda here, guys, for me is, of course, the descent mode. I'm going to check out the rewards here because I think that's one of the, the things that really suffered um, in the PTS. Also, the fact that it has no checkpoints and just see how that feels in terms of Check, no checkpoints and rewards and I'll probably make a video on that but that's it thanks very much for watching until the next one epic out